What's good, who that nation? This is your boy with St. Michael. And before the video, this tweet from Junior Galette just came out today. New Orleans, I'm coming home, baby. Hashtag who that? What do y'all think this means? Do you think Junior Galette is resigning with the Saints? Well, y'all let me know what y'all think. What's good, Saints fans? This is your boy with St. Michael coming back at y'all with another video. And today we're going to be covering a former Saints linebacker, Junior Galette. I mean, Junior was a fan favorite in New Orleans. What happened? He became one of the most hated Saints players in history after one, well, I mean, a couple of incidents. Let's get it. Born in Port on Prince Haiti, Galette came from an impoverished background to rise to the pinnacle of the NFL. When Junior was just an infant, his parents left the Caribbean for the United States of America for a search of a better life for him and his brothers. After being raised by family members in Haiti, when Junior was only 9 years old, his parents finally saved enough money to move him and his two older brothers to Spring Valley, New York with him. It was rough for Galette when he first arrived in America because he did not speak not one lick of English. At one point in Junior's first year in an American school in his fourth grade year, a girl that looked different from him was calling him racial names and he did not understand the words she was saying, but the teacher heard, the teacher got mad, and the student got in trouble. So after this incident, you know, Junior, he started learning about black history, about Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, and he went home each night and taught his parents because, you know, they were immigrants. They didn't know anything about black history. He took the time out to teach them about civil rights and everything in all American black history. One day, Junior recalled that the twins, New England Patriots star DBs, Jason and Devin McCarthy, came into his Salvation Army and challenged him to a game of 16. Man. That game was competitive. The game was so competitive, Junior did not want to give up that the score went to 26 instead of 16. Gillette started as a linebacker as a sophomore at Ramapo High School until he transferred as a scholarship athlete to St. Joseph Regional High School in Montevale, New Jersey. In Gillette's junior and senior year, he dominated in both basketball and football. Also, a fun fact, when Junior Gallet was a junior, he reunited with the McCourty brothers when they were seniors at St. Joseph Regional High School. In his senior year of high school, Gallet recorded 70 tackles and 12 sacks as a linebacker and 10 touchdowns with 41 catches for 492 yards as a wide receiver. After a successful senior season, Gallet committed to play football at the University of Temple, where he received a full scholarship that he signed February 1st, 2006. In Junior's freshman year at Temple University, he played 11 games, which he started in nine. He made the all-freshman American team. But in his sophomore year, Gallette even got better playing linebacker and defensive end. Recording 41 tackles, 11.5 tackles for a loss, 7.5 sacks, two forced fumbles, and one pass breakup. In his junior season, he continued to lead the Temple Owls. He started at defensive end this time. He finished his junior season with 46 tackles, a team best of 10 tackles for a loss. Man, 7.5 sacks again, three breakups this time, and a fourth fumble. But in his senior year, it wasn't so good. Gallette was suspended from the Temple Owls football team and he was forced to go to Stillman University in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. But the positive thing about this was in his first and last season at Stillman, he received a first All-American team honors, and he was so good that he was invited to the NFL Rookie Combine. Gallette was undrafted as a rookie prospect in the 2010 draft, but he was picked up and signed by the New Orleans Saints. This energetic play during the preseason made him a fan favorite quick. And after he blocked a punt and recorded two sacks in the Saints' last preseason game, you guessed it, he made the final 53-man roster. In Gallette's first season as a New Orleans Saints, he didn't really see that much action. He only had four tackles that year. But his next two years, he had double-digit tackles and a combined of 9.5 sacks. And as Junior was going into the final year of his contract as a New Orleans Saints, tragedy struck after the 2014 season. There was a video reported that Junior Gallette allegedly beat a woman on the beach with a belt. But after that, I guess that was the final straw for the Saints because I heard that he was a, a locker room cancer. The players didn't like him. 
So, you know, that was the final straw for Sean Payton and the Saints. They let him go. He was cut. When Junior was released by the New Orleans Saints, he did not take that lightly. He started bashing former teammates, coaches, and the franchise. Like, you don't do that. When you get released, it's, at the end of the day, don't take it personal. It's business. You decided to, you know, do something. When, and when you do something, you have to suffer the consequences. Junior could not stay out of trouble. In 2017, he was charged with disorderly conduct after having a fight at the Mississippi concert. Not only that, he was actually chased and tased by police officers in this video that I'm showing you right now. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Right after we released Junior Gillette, on July 31st of 2015, he signed a one-year deal with the Washington football team. And then guess what? Tragedy struck again because on August 26th, after completing training camp, Gillette tore his left Achilles tendon. And he was out for the season. And there was one more week before the season started. At the rehab, after the 2015 season, Gillette went on ahead and signed a one-year, $4 million contract with the Washington football team. And guess what? Tragedy struck again. This time, he tore his right Achilles tendon, and he missed the 2016 season. Wow. And after the 2016 season, Gillette signed a one-year deal with the Washington football team again. And guess what? He played in all 16 games this time. He had 20 tackles and three sacks. And I remember that year, I believe they was playing the Saints in the Dome. And he said he was gonna get his revenge. <laughs> and guess what? He didn't do not crap. I saw him. And after the 2017 season, the Washington football team released Junior Gillette. And he's not been in the league ever since then. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I mean, I don't know anything that's going on with his life today because he's keeping it very private. All right, who that nation? I'm about to check up on out of here. That was it for my video. If y'all liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, this is your boy with St. Michael. I'm checking up on out of here. Peace.